Matthew and Lisa Marie Penn from Hertfordshire have come into the online den hoping for investment. Will the couple secure the money they need? Hello Dragons, my name is Lisa Marie Penn. I'm the founder and originator of my new baby product, The Cozy Shopper. This is my husband, Matthew Penn. Okay. I'm looking for an investment of £20,000 for 15% of my company. Mm -hmm. Back in 2003, I had a problem every time I went shopping to the supermarket with my precious baby. I found the bucket seats very cold, hard, dirty. I would then have to place a small blanket onto the seat, but while shopping, the baby would wriggle around and the blanket would constantly fall on the floor. I needed a solution, and from that, the cosy shopper was conceived. We are currently a small business run from home, a lifestyle business, if you wish. And we want to gear that business up to become a national and international retail business. And we'll be happy to answer your questions. It's been a faltering pitch from the pens for their cosy shopper. Will their nerves settle once the dragons start questioning them? I love the Cozy Shopper. I think that's a really good brand. Potentially you have a kind of mass market item here that has a cute factor. It's charming. All of my girlfriends are having kids. Can I see myself buying this for them? Absolutely. Just on the patent there, tell me specifically what does it cover and oh, has it, it been granted or okay, is it pending? Yeah, it's all, all been agreed. The, the kind of fact that it goes around yeah, the thing the and, yeah, and the, that you, with you the pull toggle it and the elastic, that's all written into that. Yeah. Agreement. And what's the price? How much does uh, it they cost? They retail at twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. How much does it cost you to manufacture one? They currently cost us twelve to thirteen pounds to in make the UK. in the UK. But we have now got a contact in China that can manufacture them, package them, barcode testing everything, and they can do it for five dollars. So obviously, I could then reduce the retail price, reduce the wholesale price to make more people buy it. The pens have visibly relaxed under questioning. Chef Razul now wants to know more about their marketing strategy. Have you been in touch with any retailers? At the moment, it's um, been looked at by a well-known baby retailer, um, and it's been passed to a senior buyer. I also have a premiership football club that's very interested at the moment. Why would the football club be interested? Because they want it in their merchandising shop in the colours of the team. So and we could I'm... see this in Manchester United yeah. colours or Liverpool yeah. colours or something, yeah? Yeah. I think that's the versatility of the product. It could be in anything. Disney. It's the new t-shirt release. And... It's like a t-shirt, it's like a hat, it's a, it's a thing that you decorate. The Dragons appear to be waking up to the potential of Lisa and Matthew's invention. Julie Meyer now wants to test further their commitment. A couple of things I'd like to know. First of all, estimate how many hours you spend on this right now a week. Um, well, generally, I, I deal with an emails, inquiries, yeah. literally around the school hours. I understand that. And then if, I, you, if you had to gross it up, what would right. it be? I would say you probably spend two to three hours a day okay. currently. All right. And I would like to see that increase to almost maybe 30 hours and then me to spend maybe 15 hours. Matthew's not telling Julie Meyer what she wants to hear. She's reached a decision. Entrepreneurs that make successful businesses work more than 45 hours a week. What you just explained there is it's a bigger version of a lifestyle business. Yes, I, I take your point on board and I see that. Mm. My sense is that I'm going to be frustrated if I get involved here with the pace of it because I really like to go fast and I really mm. like to get mm -hmm. obsessively focused on, on making big strides in the first couple of years. And I, and I think for that reason, I don't sense that there's a good chemistry here at least for me. But I wish you good luck, but I'm afraid I'm out. Okay. It's a massive blow for the pair and their hopes of getting investment. Only Shaf Razul now stands between them and expulsion from the den.
Can you both tell me what your backgrounds are? And yeah, I've been in banking for 21 years. Um, I was made redundant in April. And what about yourself? What's your involvement as well? I also was in banking for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, there I was in the retail side and I ended up on the small business market in the small business team. Uh, and now, obviously, I'm back out on my own. What do you see your revenue being at the end of year one, assuming you get the investment? Um, in year one, we would hope to at least sold 1,000 units, giving us a net profit of 3,400. OK, year two? Year two, uh, we'd look to sell 3,000 units and a net profit of 17 and a half. Year three, 5,000 units, a net profit of 24,000. Assuming you get to your figures, what would my exit strategy be? How would you value my investment? My... 15% which I've paid £20,000 for. I would value... That's going off, sorry, I've gone completely bank on that. Shaft's questions have completely thrown the couple with a background in banking. It can only get worse. Businesses are valued on a multiple of profits, OK? Yeah. Your profit, correct me if I'm wrong, here on year three is going to be £39,000. Yeah. What do you think is a fair multiple, using your experience as a banker, for the business we're talking about? Oh, I would say at least three. three. OK, so in three years' time, your business is going to be worth three times £39,000, yeah. correct? Yeah. £120,000. What's my 15% going to be worth? So that's going to be... Just below 20, isn't it? Just below 20. OK, so I've invested 20,000 for 15%. In three years' time, how much is it going to be worth? Just about the same amount. Really. Just about the same amount. Now, on that basis, unfortunately, I'm out. Really have enjoyed the experience. Thank you very Good much. Luck. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you. you. Lisa Marie and Matthew have left the den. Having been taught a very simple business lesson, they'll have to look for the investment they need elsewhere. OK, talk us through a very nervous experience in that den. Yeah. What was going through your mind? I knew what I had to say, but it was yeah. just that first sentence. I was standing there thinking, what is it? Yeah. And then after that, I just carried it on. Do you think in hindsight you may have underestimated the potential worth of the company? In three years' time, yeah. they're kind of getting their money back. Yeah. I think it's probably being too much prudence. Yeah. In hindsight, yeah, we could have had it being a bit more ballsy yeah. and gone for a bit more. But um, at least we've learned something from that. Fine. Okay. Well, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers, Lisa. You. Thank you very much.